I am not a professional tattoo artist, but I designed my own tattoo. wanted to talk about something really cool if you didn't know hi my name is beth i'm 22 years old i've been getting tattooed for a little over two years now i only have about eight so far i'm not gonna go through all individually i'm just gonna be talking about my brand new one that i actually designed and kind of my process how i did it why i did it and that kind of stuff <laughs> So when I say I designed this, I'm not talking about the tattoo that got applied to my skin. I'm talking about the concept and the kind of the basis that we worked off of. Does anyone else put that apple pen in their hair so they don't lose it? Because I need to do it otherwise. My, oh my god, actually that looks so sick. I haven't looked at it in a while. Oh, damn, that's cool. When it comes to designing tattoos, I... Uh, I don't claim to be a tattoo artist. I don't claim to know every style. I don't claim to know every rule of every style. And I try my best to interpret those styles, you know? For me, I'm very attracted to thick black outlining. I love it. I love thick black lines. As you can see, my entire kind of patchwork, as you can see, it's not too extravagant right now is black and white and my leg is color i'm not sure what direction i want to go originally i was thinking traditional now i'm thinking more kind of a neo-traditional kind of kawaii kind of cutesy you know leg just bright and colorful i always say the left side of my body is like my dad's side and the right side is my mom's side you know so like she gets all the bright and colourful side, obviously. I do love the idea of being able to design tattoos. Um, I'm currently working on making some temporary tattoos for my Etsy, which will be really cool. I started doing digital art about probably a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Like my Etsy was going really well and I wanted to get more into making prints and like physical small things. So uh, I took up digital art and uh, spiral from there now we're here i thought it was something super original but apparently literally i could not find a good reference image up until two weeks before my appointment and then on fucking google images and pinterest the two places i were looking a picture appeared of like exactly what i was getting i was like are you kidding <laughs> are you serious right now it's okay we move it's it, like I'd seen the plushy version of it and the little statue version of it and it stuck in my brain But I wanted to make it more me. So we ended up with this This is a Hello Kitty Daruma doll for me. Obviously, I am hugely into J cult uh, I am hugely into Japanese culture and kind of history and that kind of stuff so obviously a Daruma doll if you're looking at it from a Japanese viewpoint uh, is Traditionally put out at times of good year, of good luck, such as New Year, and it's meant to show good fortune and luck and prosperity and happiness for the year ahead. And one thing I didn't know until I started researching is with the eyes. So if the eyes are both black, it means you have achieved a goal. Or if you have one black and one white, it means that you've set a goal, but you haven't achieved it yet. Which I thought was really cool and something I wanted to add into my tattoo, but you'll see what kind of happened. Uh, in regards to my leg, I wanted to make it kind of feminine, yet still reflect those values, as well as have a very bold colour palette, which is kind of reminiscent of, again, traditional tattoos in terms of reds, but still bringing something cutesy to it. <laughs> so... I'm looking at it here. I'm not really sure how long this took. I think it took maybe like, ooh, I don't know. Let's have a look. So this drawing was created on the 13th of February at 12.47 a.m. That's when I believe I was ill with a chest infection, like literally right before I had COVID like a few weeks before I had COVID. But this drawing specifically, like the first idea had an hour 
it only took an hour to draw i remember literally just lying in bed and then suddenly the idea came into my head and that rhymed and i was like oh shit i need to draw this now so that was kind of my rough sketch i took more kind of reference from the daruma doll when i did the hello kitty and in my opinion it kind of reminds me of a gundam i'm not really sure why or it it kind of looks like an egg like it's not like don't get me wrong i am not pony lawson but like And this one literally at the same time at 1 33 a.m on the 13th of february this year um and i worked on it for almost three hours so in total so put it that way that i yeah i was ridiculous i used to literally stay up all night doing my artwork and then look outside and like the sun would be rising i was like oh okay well fuck sleep am i right uh one of the things i kept seeing very heavily especially in daruma doll tattoos which i whenever i'm trying to draw a tattoo design i always tend to look for tattoo references to build up of so like i don't tend to use it as a line for line reference it's just kind of like a cheat sheet so i know like where to put shadows if shadows are needed different little concepts i want to include so if there's like a little dragonfly pop this here and then a rock pop that there um just an idea for formatting and then i will obviously change all the line works the majority of them either had text in the middle or they had lines i'm not really sure if those lines particularly symbolize anything i did not research that um but for me i did not want to get anything specifically written in kanji or anything because i don't know myself enough about Japanese language. I do have my little education book here, which you can't see. Outside, we have some really sweet sakura. Frame it a little bit, add some shape to it. The reason Hello Kitty, I have always loved Hello Kitty. Like, even when I was a little baby emo and I was like, eh, I hate everything, I still really liked Samria. And I feel like the last few years, especially while everyone's been in COVID and kind of like regressed a little bit and gone back to their favorite childhood things. Sanrio has really made a return and the whole like idea of Sanrio and like the fact that Hello Kitty herself represents like being happy and innocent and bright and cheery. I love. <laughs> and like I love the idea of um I have a pair of trousers which are back there that these ones actually that I wear for all my tattoo appointments when I wear them like out and about religiously. And whenever I wear them, because they are cropped, you can see like the top part of my ankle. And I always think having a little tattoo there would be so nice because I do sit cross-legged the majority of the time. I love the idea of it just kind of poking out and hanging out, you know, just chilling out on my little leg. So if I get anxious or whatever, I can just pull my trousers. Just like, oh, hello tattoo. <laughs> From that time, I discovered Abby. Abby, I love her. I feel so guilty because after our appointment, honestly, my phone was not having a good day. My, because I don't know why, but in certain areas of Bristol, my phone just does not work. Like straight up, can't get connection. The tattoo studio was one of them. Santander would not want to load. And then when I finally managed to pay her, I accidentally set up it as a standing order because I was trying to like get the bus and I clicked the wrong button. And I didn't know until like two hours later and she messaged me like, hey, you haven't paid me. I was like, how the fuck did I set up a standing order for three days time? I was like, oh my God. I 100% thought she was gonna like blacklist me. She hasn't, thankfully. She understood. I felt so guilty. Abby, sweetest soul ever. She originally had some flash for um, like a love heart. It says cherry bomb in it, um, which again, I really like Joan Jet. I think she's really cool. What she stands for, what she's done within like, rock music as a female. I think she's very cool. And I was due to go to America with one of my friends and we were gonna go see Motley Crue who were at the time touring with Joan Jet poison steel panther i think steel panther yeah and i thought hey if the trip goes well when i get back i'm gonna get a joan jet tattoo why not um that trip did not end up happening for a couple reasons which really sucked 
and when I messaged her about the flash, it had literally just been taken. Like, literally, it was on her final, like, I want to do this, does anyone want it, final chance, here's a reduction, kind of thing, and someone swooped it within, like, the first hour. But I'd really been looking at her stuff and I was saying to her, like, oh, that's fine, I'll definitely be in touch with some custom stuff. Not even a week later, I think maybe even like two days later, she put on her Instagram that she was coming to Bristol. I was like, yes! Literally messaged her straight away. I was like, oh my God, count me in. Like, <clears throat> I got your picture, I'm coming with you. Like, so excited. I messaged her, I was like, right, okay, let me join this waiting list. And then literally the second the waiting list opened, it opened at midnight, like a few days later, I was straight on it and <laughs> at like 8, 9 a.m. she messaged me like, hey, just let you know it's open. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, thanks, I've already applied. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I see you now. Um, and yeah, <laughs> from there, she loved my idea, which I always get really scared when I approach like professionals um with my ideas i've done it before and they've always been super nice but i'm always scared they'll be like what the actual fuck is this like they've probably seen so many better or worse drawings of mine but because i've done it myself i'm like <laughs> please don't be mean to me i worked so hard on this but yeah um so when it came to booking it i i believe it was when i had covid and i was like fuck it i want a tattoo i'm sad girl and she was coming to bristol i believe the week before my birthday you well i did a whole vlog on it it just lined up i was like cool that's gonna be my birthday tattoo it's a thing that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go big or go home my 22nd birthday fuck it let's go i believe in total i paid i think the deposit was about one no, I think in total I paid about £250 for it, which is not bad at all for the tattoo I've got. It is my most expensive tattoo so far, I think. Be my design, and she got back to me like two days before my appointment, two, three days before my appointment. No problem, super happy. And she showed me the idea. I basically included in the notes like, hey, make sure one eye is covered and one eye is white, like black and white. And I kind of explained like what I previously explained. Um, but other than that, please do whatever you think is necessary. You're the tattoo artist, you know best. And I really think that matters. Go to a tattoo artist for their expertise because they know more about tattooing than what you do. And if you don't like that and you argue with them, honestly, they are professionals. They've been doing it far longer than you have. So you kind of need to suck it up. And if you don't like what they're offering you, go somewhere else, but don't go to somebody and ask them to do their best work if they're telling you that it's incorrect or it won't work size-wise or whatever, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so this is the redraw that she did a little bit different <laughs> obviously from the offset the size itself reflects more on the daruma doll and it doesn't look like an egg like mine does <laughs> um she, honestly like everything about it is perfect words cannot express how happy i was at first i was like hmm that doesn't look like it but honestly i love it like the fact she was able to communicate everything I loved and make it perfect is a dream. I also love as well the flowers. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing flower wise. I just said I'd like them pink, um, just just cause. And she definitely made them more traditionally, which I really love. Um, and obviously it incorporates what I want to grow upon my leg. So. Honestly, like, it looks great. She's an absolute rock star and fully took on board everything I wanted. She did white highlights within the face to add some dimension to it. It didn't really make sense to do the whole face blackout white, but she added whites 
to kind of accentuate the fact that it would come across as a lighter shade than it was so it's like there's a skin break um and then the whites kind of contour it I'm, I'm sat looking at it right now um i will admit i did pick it like i have never picked a tattoo before i went to town on it literally on my birthday i was just sat that peeling skin off which i know is disgusting but um oops i forgot how badly my skin reacts to sanadum and i was like well it's fine because like it it was i rationalized it in my head but like yeah i'm allergic to sanadum i know most people are and i believe that's what she wrapped with so yeah abby really worked with me and worked on kind of spacing the design out a bit more and making it more cohesive more of a standout tattoo that will actually kind of last over time because with my idea everything was quite cramped together and obviously as i get older because i'm still pretty i'm i am baby i'm a very baby adult um my skin's gonna stretch and especially in my legs where they're probably gonna be very visible like you know hopefully trying to get my legs out a bit more now i've got some tattoos Ooh. the only thing you might have noticed is the eyes so literally i think it got to like two days later and she messaged me saying i'm really sorry this isn't up to my standards like i'm so sorry i forgot to fill the eye in white and i just completely forgot and i was like you know what that's actually kind of cool because when i designed and inquired about this i was i was a big old sad i was on some seriously messed up medication and like i was questioning a lot of things i hated everything like that's partly why my youtube has been so stagnant this year and why i haven't been uploading that much because i was on this medication for like the first four or five months of this year and um it took a long time to kind of get off of it it was a really strong antidepressant and it fucked with my brain <laughs> and now like it's come back around september and it's been a year since i moved out of my new out of my house that i've lived in all my life my trauma house the house that literally everything bad in my entire life has gone wrong in and moved into my new house and everything started to feel a little bit better like i'm literally living my best life <laughs> words cannot express how happy i am and i don't know it's just the whole idea of that i set a goal to try and be happier and do more of what i loved and like now it's well when i got it done it was like starting to peak you know it was starting to get a little bit better you know moved into my new house starting uni it was almost my birthday then i started uni and my business was going great and now i'm like here yeah um so like i'm not even mad about it maybe one day i'll get it filled in white probably won't <laughs> it's okay i don't mind it would probably get muddy at some point anyway so like i'm just gonna leave it i like it <laughs> but yes um so yeah that is how i designed my tattoo honestly i went into it with open arms like i drew my interpretation of it but ultimately if i'm going to a tattoo artist i want them to take my idea and make it the best version that they can because typically i go to people for their art i don't go to them because they're a tattooist i go to them for their art and i want them to create a concept based on something i can give them or like their flash or pre-prepared things do let me know if you'd like a tattoo tour once i've gotten a few more i always said the minimum i want to do a tattoo tour with is 10 and uh i'm getting a little bit close to that <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i don't have too many interesting ones right now but i do love to talk about my tattoos um because i feel like my life didn't really start until i had them truly like i feel so much more me like alternative cute bath you know with the pink hair currently pink and orange and the tattoos and just <sighs> but yeah. it's my first full color tattoo and oh bitch it was fine like i've never had one on my leg it was fine honestly well i have them now so um i'm gonna go chill out with tash on my bed please like and subscribe if you want to see more kind of random videos i love doing them so yeah anyway 
thanks for watching